<laughs> Part two. Bad transmission. All right, so the backstory is uh, I needed a 1G manual transmission for my van. And I messaged this guy on Facebook who had a bunch of parts and he said he had a good transmission. So I went and I picked that up. I picked up a clutch from him and the clutch was junk. And I picked up a downpipe along with the transfer case. The transfer case worked, I will admit. But so I picked all that up from him and then a few months go by until I get my engine and everything ready for the van. So then I drop everything in, I get it. I take it to my tuner, I drive it there or I trailer it there. And then I drop it off. He puts a base map on it. And then we go to try to go out for a test drive and it's just not really driving. So I bring it back home and I suspected the transmission. And then sure enough, I drain the fluid and then it looks terrible. And so I start messaging him and we'll go over the messages later. But in the end, he gets mad at me and he says it worked perfectly fine in his car. His name, on Facebook was Joshua Jacobson <clears throat> but I've since figured out that his real name is Stephen Kingslinger I believe and he's known for scamming people in the DSM groups and he's been scamming people for years and stuff like that so yeah I, I got scammed on transmission uh, it's okay I got the van running now we'll have videos coming out on it soon Video. Yeah. Are you recording? Yeah, quick, just quick. comment. I'm trying to get in my car. Commentate a little bit. No, we're not going. Alright, get back over here. My last one did not take this much. Take off. Last one I pulled off with my hands. <laughs> oh, it's all. I glued it on there. Get in here. Doesn't like to go in. Oh. That's all she'll do. Yeah, we'll paint it on. He just went thirty one percent, forty one percent, ten percent. You see me? I don't want to get that. Let's <laughs> see. Alright. So now for viewers that don't know, what is that? Well that's is that's that... actually the spider gears from the center differential. And that's not supposed to be in there, it's mm -mm. supposed to be in there. Mm -mm. It's, it's not, not like some corroded oil or anything fluid whoa 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 hey get down from there there um, it goes oh that was just that's just that's actually just part of the, the casing it's actually all destroyed so it didn't come like that or nothing mm -hmm. just no. no and who told you who who is the the source Said oh. it was trustworthy to buy the well, transmission? We'll, we'll actually go over the messages. Oh, okay. All right, well, tell me this then. Mm -hmm. Where do I go to buy a transmission and not get scammed? Oh, oh I guess you don't. <sighs> it's all a gamble? Someone with reps? Reps? Golly. So first things first, look at the oh, bolts. Oh, oh, don't worry, I already got that. Okay, good. You see, oh my. All right. Now this should just pull out. 
you were saying? Oh. Oh. I was saying that he never actually had trouble with no, this. No, no, no. No. He said that he had no issues with the transmission when he had it. Oh my gosh. And, uh, and you believe that. I'm not Don't sure get aggressive. Well, I'll show you what's blocking us, actually. Right here. See down in there? There you go, right there. You can see the actual chunks of the gears. Yep. <laughs> One second. Tony has rocks in his transmission. He's got rocks there in it. There we go. There. He literally has gravel in his transmission. So there's the housing. All right, so what does that All cause? Chip what, how has that been caused right there? Well, this is caused by launching. No, 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 get down. And destroying your transmission and just beating on it. Look, launching. this bolt is actually loose. You see that gap right there? Did you get Let me this? see one of them wrap. Let me see them, one of them rocks you got down in there. Look at that. Reach down in there and get one of them rocks. See what they look like. Well, first off, get this hole right here that goes right through here. Jeez. Look at that. That's a, there, yeah. that's a nine millimeter hole. <laughs> We're in the middle of something. We've got massive damage. Really? Let's take a look at this. <laughs> Come take a look. <laughs> oh my god. It's laughable. Shawnee. <laughs> no, I don't think I'm fixing this one. Yeah. No. Man, you really did get scammed. How to get scammed on a transmission? 101? Look. And then look. Look at this bolt, it's actually loose. So it either he didn't tighten it no. or it hit it, against the it, stuff and it, it loosened broke. it. Well, it either loosened or broke inside. How much did that transmission cost? $450. At least it's not $2,000, $2,500 like this one. All right, let's take a look at the real transmission exactly. now. It's one that doesn't break. One that doesn't break down. Oh wait, it's not no, it's not even in. <laughs> it's not even in. It's transmission, he doesn't even have one. Alright, Lucas had to go to class, but here is the damage. Here is the main housing. The guide is completely full. what you get for runs and drives great no issues no grinds and the guy saying that he drove fun in his car <laughs> oh well i'm just upset so i just want my van to run all right so here's all the messages uh, I asked him if he had any six bolt items, and I said I need a transmission and a flywheel and clutch and stuff. <clears throat> and then I asked him if he ran the transmission before. He said yes. He got it before. He used it before. He got his dog box and he had some clutches. 
Um, here's a picture of the transmissions. He says he has over good seven good transmissions. And then I said, uh, do you have a new flywheel or all they all use? Because I really want something new. But he said he had a used clutch and flywheel in perfect shape. Here's his car. <laughs> and then I, I just want to make sure one more time that the transmission was good. And the clutch is good, no issues. He said yes, he'll back it. And I get home and I look at the clutch. So I go pick it up from him. I didn't really look at it. I was just hurrying. That's it. Now back here. <laughs> and then, um, so I get home and I look at the clutch more. I should have looked at it more when I was there. That was my fault. But I said, yeah, the clutch is messed up. And you can see it has just chunks taken out of it. And he said, yeah, it won't hurt it. They all do that. <clears throat> and then I messaged him. I finally got together and the transmission's messed up. And then I asked him for a refund. He said, he said, if it was bad for me, I, I will refund it. So I show him the fluid. I say, yeah, it's messed up. And then he says, oh, he does have a transmission with a Evo 3 gear set for 200 and it'll be mine since this one was messed up. And then I said, I'm good. I don't want to go through this again. And then yeah, I just sent him pictures of the teardown because he asked for pictures of the teardown and he'll refund me. And I said, I'll take that refund anytime. And then he was just questioning me and all this stuff. He just kept on questioning me and stuff. So then I said, um, I'm not going to sit here and argue with you when you knew it was destroyed. And then um, he said, bring it back and he'll refund me. But I didn't really trust him. So I didn't want to do that. I was like, no, I'm just going to keep him in parts. So then I told him, I was like, I looked up your history and I've seen your rep. And that really made him mad. I said, if you want to work out some refund, we can. If not, I'll keep it for parts. And then he said, that called people, if you got a issue, slide this. There. There. And I didn't know what that meant. And then you can read this. I had to blank some of it out because he used some profanity. But he was not too happy at all. So I ended up just keeping the transmission up these are parts or something. And then, yeah, that's my marketplace fine transmission <laughs> that I got scammed on. But it's okay. I got my van running. We'll have videos on it soon. It's a 4G swapped um, Mitsubishi Expo.